Hey guys, today I'm gonna to share with you my recipe for a chocolate pumpkin cheesecake. It's a really spectacular dessert idea that is perfect for Halloween that's coming up or also for Thanksgiving. It's pretty simple to do and the whole thing can really be made ahead and just refrigerated and then when it comes time to serve, all you have to do is slice and dig in. Let me show you how to put it together. So we're first gonna begin by creating our crust. So for this, you're gonna need two cups of chocolate cookie crumbs. So basically that's about nine ounces of either chocolate wafers or you could use the chocolate sandwich cookies and just scrape out the filling. So you're gonna grind those either in a food processor or you also could put them in a Ziploc bag and give them a whack with a rolling pin. Then we're gonna place the crumbs in a large bowl and to that we're gonna add five tablespoons of unsalted butter and we just wanna mix that up with a fork until everything is nice and combined. If you feel like it's still a little bit too dry and the crumb is not coming together, you can just add a little bit more melted butter. Then we're gonna pour the crumbs into a greased spring form cheesecake pan. And then I just like to kind of level out the crumbs to make sure that everything is even and then go in with my hand and press down the crumbs and then kind of fist bump it up the side to create a nice crust. And at this point, it really doesn't matter if those edges are perfect because I think this is what's gonna make for a really dramatic cheesecake to have those little jagged edges. Then you're gonna place your pan in a 325 degree Fahrenheit oven for anywhere from 10 to 12 minutes. Then you can take it out and allow it to cool while you prep the filling. So in a large bowl, we're gonna add two eight ounce tubs of whipped cream cheese. I like the whipped variety because I think it adds to a lighter cheesecake, but if you can't find the whipped, you could also use the brick kind. You want it nice and soft because then we are going to add our two eggs and our three egg yolks. Then we're gonna add three quarters cup of just plain white sugar. And you can give that a whisk and make sure that's all combined. And then here comes the pumpkin. We are gonna add one 15 ounce can of pure pumpkin puree. And then to that, we're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. Now I know pumpkin pie spice can be difficult to find outside of the US. It's definitely, I think, an American thing that we tend to bake with a lot this time of year. But if you want to know how to make it, I'll leave you a link in the description that will show you how. It's a fun thing to have on hand. You can have a little taste of America in your spice cabinet. Then we're also gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So you can combine all of that until it's nicely incorporated. And then at this point, we are going to add a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. And then you can mix that up. I really love to add a little bit of flour in my cheesecakes because I find that that really sets the cheesecake a lot better and it will also alleviate having to create a water bath when you bake your cheesecake. Then you're gonna take your cheesecake filling and you're gonna pour it into your cooled crust and then here comes the fun part. We're gonna take two ounces of melted bittersweet chocolate and you are going to spoon little dollops of it all the way around the cheesecake, just in a large circle, about an inch or so apart. And at this stage, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna swirl this chocolate anyway. So if it starts to drip or make little uh, drizzles, that's okay. Then you're going to run a long skewer through your circles just creating a really nice swirly twirly pattern. And really it's up to you how swirly and twirly you wanna go. <laughs> you can just do it slightly, which I kinda like because I find that the simpler in some way, the more sophisticated and the better. But if you really wanna load it up, you could swirl and twirl until that whole cheesecake looks like a big cobweb. So really up to you. That's where your artistry will come in. Then we're gonna bake our cheesecake in a 325 degree oven for at least one hour. Now here's the thing, I typically will set it for 50 minutes and then check it at that point. If it's still jiggling like really loosely, it probably needs another 10 minutes. If it looks like it's set and is just jiggling slightly, I would take it out. Because I find with cheesecakes, it's better for it to be a little bit underbaked than overbaked. Because if it's underbaked, you, it will still set up in the fridge when you refrigerate it. But if it's overbaked, you're gonna get cheesecakes with cracks. So if you've ever had that happen to you, where you've had a cheesecake with cracks in it, chances are it was overbaked. Then once it's done, you can take it out of the oven and allow it to cool. You really wanna let it cool down for at least 30 to 40 minutes. 
and then I don't cover it because if you cover it with foil, it will end up having some condensation on the top, which then drips onto the pumpkin and will start to discolor the pumpkin. So you don't want that to happen. <laughs> so just put it in just as is in your fridge for anywhere for four hours to overnight is even better. And that will really allow your cheesecake to set up beautifully. Then you can place your cheesecake on a cake stand and bring it to the table and let everybody be very impressed by it. <laughs> There's something so dramatic about this cake. It's beautiful, it's festive, and to me, it feels very Halloween. When you bite into it, you will see just how delicious it is. You've got that crunchy, chocolatey cookie crumb mixed with that lightly spiced, velvety pumpkin cheesecake, and of course, those little chocolate swirls on top. I hope you subscribe for more quick and easy recipes, and I will see you back here next week for another one. Until then, bye.